All right, with Cortez Carter, let's talk about um, for you personally uh, working in the linebacker core in, in a group that was depleted two years ago. Last year saw significant changes, and, and this year another big year of, of expectations. What's been the biggest biggest change between last or last year and the year before that really brought this group together, and made it so dominant on the field? We're all we're all brothers in there, you know. Coach Fuller came up with a saying, uh, "Brotherhood and the backerhood," and it, and uh, it really shows like. Uh, we're always together, you know, we're always eating together, you know. We really took it on that brother role, and, you know. We all know there's only, like, three linebacker spots out there, but, like, at the same time, we're pushing each other. We're going to compete, and, you know, hopefully you know, we get a rotation going or something like that. Or, like, if, if your brother's playing, you cheer him on. If you're playing, you hope your brother cheers you on, which he will. And it's really it's just nothing but brotherhood in the back of it. You, you, you're one of those guys that come in on the backup role, but again, you're so far through camp, when your time's on the field, you've definitely made the best of it. Go Walk me through your progression in camp. What kind of camp do you feel like that you've had, and how has camp gotten you ready for the upcoming game with Miami? Um, I came in, you know, just coming to camp again, like a rookie, you know, write down everything coach says. Even though I know it, I still write it down. I uh, double check with them, get go over all my calls, you know, walk through. I take that as my mental period to get everything ready and go over every all my checks and all that. So when I get in there, it's, it's like I don't miss a beat. I get everybody in the right spot. You know, if I got a, like a young guy like Husk, if he doesn't remember everything right away, I can tell him right now you got B gap on this play, you got A gap on this play, or get out on a number two. And then I still know my job. And I just, I just approach, it, approach every day like it's day one, you know, because – Really, what you did yesterday doesn't mean anything. It's what you do today. And running from that middle linebacker position, that's that's almost like the quarterback of the of the defense. You you've got a lot of responsibilities that you have to make sure that everybody's there. Walk me through the progression of what all you're checking and what all you're looking for when you get in that position. Uh, first, you got to get the signal. Uh, depending on whether it's field or formation defense, you got to learn how to buy your D line up. Uh, then you got to go through your keys from the like I, I call it a triangle read. I Try to read all the way out and then make a triangle straight back to the quarterback and running back. And I try to see everybody on the field just to know, okay, if, he, if the running back's this far over, these are the only plays I'm going to get. If he's this close, this is the only plays I'm going to get. And then my D-line is doing one heck of a job this, this camp. They're giving us calls to let us know whether it's pass, run, or they got a pulling guard their way. It's, they've just been done, uh, doing an awesome job at that. You got a guy like Jermaine Holmes playing in front of you. How much has he helped you progress to be able to step in and, and have no drop off whatsoever when he steps off the field for a quick breather and you just pick up where he left off? Uh, man, me and Freak, we're always, we're always, me and Jermaine, we're always in there. You know, we'll, we'll go in like right now. We'll go over and eat, and uh, you know, we get a little downtime, but we'll get back like 40, 50 minutes before meetings. Hey, you want to go watch this film real quick? You, you want to go? Uh, ch uh, see it before coach gets to us so we know what we did so when he asks us we can hit him back with an answer and say this is what we did wrong this is what we did right and then if we got any questions and we neither one of us know we'll go back and ask coach but like we're always me and him we're always talking uh like we have a, a certain call we make and, oh, what do we got on this one again and, you know, we just go over together and then boom neither one of us miss a beat how, how important is it that the defensive line is doing a, a lot of work on the offensive line and, and keeping you know, the running game in check, but also the passing game, so it's not just the linebackers having to make you know, every tackle out there? Uh, you know, Coach Heater sets us up in great calls. You know, you got to know you're down in distance. Like as a linebacker, you must know how far this offense has to go. So, you know, he get, uh, he gives us some tools to help our D linemen to make plays. So, if, if I know I got to get the back. And I gotta, I gotta guard this gap all the way to there, and I gotta run out here and go co cover that guy. I can make a call to my defensive lineman, and he can go in there and he can make a play, and then, and then I get up, and cheer him off, and making a play. And how much do you study outside of the film, just on your own, or, or just watching uh, film, you know, by yourself in your dorm room or whatever, uh, to study? Well, it's, it's all the time, you know. It goes from, you know, this might sound crazy, like even video games, like we take it serious, you know, we actually like look at it as a real game, you know. Okay, it's third and long. What, what kind of defense are we gonna run here, or? You know, we'll, we'll sit back. Like, coach will leave. You know, we got all this NFL film in here. We'll sit back. I was just talking to another one, and he was talking about uh, fitting a play. And he's like, I see those Seahawks linebackers. They're, they're, they're going after those linebackers. They're not waiting. They're just going. And, you know, we try to fit that into our game. You, you talk about it, the position of linebacker, and it's it's kind of the, the do-all of, of defense. Of you have to Sometimes you're blitzing. Sometimes you're picking up a rusher. Sometimes you have to drop into coverage. 
How hard is it to have yourself acclimated with everything that's re expected for you in that position of, of what you may have to do every every down differently? Uh, it, it's like I said, you just got to know the down and distance, you know. And as time goes on, you know, like, for example, for Miami, when we're, when we're prep for them, we're just going to sit down and they are write down their tendencies. First and ten, they like to do this. Second and su such, they like to do this. Third and short, third and long, third and medium. This is what they like to do. Once you know where your field position is, you kind of can drop off all that stuff in the, in the background. Like, okay, I know he's not going to run the ball over here. I know the only way he's going to run is over here instead of over here. Or I, oh, third and long. Okay, let's see. The only run I got to really defend is probably the draw play. But other than that, I'm going to drop back to pass coverage. All right, man. Appreciate it. What's it like to tackle oh. Rocket? Oh, it's, it's been like this since day one. He's still my little brother. <laughs>